name is The B Word, and basically it's a narrative short about two sisters dealing with bulimia, and basically their struggle and their journey and dealing with the disease. The idea came from my sister who thought I was struggling with bulimia, so she came to me, her and my mother did an intervention, and then we thought it'd be a great idea for a script. So we sat down, we wrote the script, and then we um, asked our friends to join us in the project. When we were in the development process of the script, we reached out to different people who were actually going through bulimia and also those who wrote books about it, just to make sure it was as authentic and organic as possible. Jermaine Spencer is actually a friend of ours from college, and we worked on several projects together, and we were looking for a director. I was like, you know what, we should call Jermaine and see if he's available. Yeah, we, we didn't have to get hard. Of course, the twins called me, and I'm always down to do whatever. And, uh, but when I read the script, it really was touching and it put me in a place that uh, I don't normally go, a very emotional place. Amazingly talented cast to great producers, so it was really a no-brainer for me to take the project. Plus the content is just something that needs to be shared with the world. I looked at it as a story of addiction, a story of, of uh, people who perceive to not have love. And I tried to tell that, and, and also how cycles perpetuate themselves. The preparation for the film was very difficult. I had to embody the characters, try to get to the psychological aspects of the character, and it took a lot of research and a lot of hard work, and it took me to a place that I had to become serious and really introverted and try to take on the role that she took on and all the pressure that she had. She's broken and I have no idea how to put her back together. In our community, we sometimes, you know, sweep our problems under the rug instead of dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one they say go get a counselor and you think oh yeah I ain't crazy yeah. it's not about being crazy it's just about being whole so just to bring awareness to bulimia so we can heal some sisters and you know get the word out there we all want to tell really great amazing stories stories that are not told um, and the Celestine twins they tell amazing stories and I love 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 the way that they tell stories um, and I just wish that it was easier to be able to do that, whether it's funding, resources, and all that stuff. So we hope to become experts at that so that way we can tell more stories um, and really show a different side of what's really going on, you know what I mean? So I think that's the, the major thing at this point, well, you know, for, for us. We just want to thank everyone and just all of the support has been overwhelming so we just appreciate everyone and thank everyone from the bottom of our heart. I'm excited for everyone to finally see the film. It's been a long time. You feel very vulnerable when people are actually watching your film because you don't know if it's going to resonate with them, if they're going to get what we're trying to say. So I'm excited to see everyone's reaction. The next goal is just to keep educating and informing and just letting the community know that different things that are going on with African American women.